Hi y'all, welcome to Dark Angel Enets. I'm your host, Angel. It is April 25th, 2012, and have a great day, I guess. It's been a wonderful day outside, and inside's been pretty good too. So let's get on with the show. I am going to be changing the recording day. I will be recording now on Wednesdays, just to make it a little less crazy for everybody, because it has just been crazy here. Alright, so seductions. I was I started the reusable grocery bag by Beth Bar- Bartlett from the Mystery 220 group. It's a pattern she altered and we've been working I've been working on it. It's from way back like last April. So this is what I've got done. I started last night, so I got the bottom done last night and I started the mesh today. I've gotten pretty far. It says I have to go like 15 inches tall, which is fine. It won't take that long. Maybe I'll take it to knit night tonight. So that's what I started yesterday and part of today. So that's that one. And it's just out of some leftover handicraft cotton I've had laying around the house. The second thing on the needle are the Summer Slice Socks by Cassandra Dominic using the Knit Picks palette. Um, it's a cosmopolitan colorway. And they haven't gotten any love. I haven't done a thing on them. Probably take them tonight to knit night. Also, just so that they get some love. I, I still like them. It's just their socks. And I'm not a huge fan of socks that often. So yeah. Third thing on the needles is the Cable Tunic by Nikki Epstein. And let's see if I can get it turned right. I got a new camera. Yes. Last weekend, Chase and I, we had to do some shopping, and uh, we ended up having to get ink for our printer, because I ran it out. It's a brand new printer, and um, so he got some ink for me, and while I was there, we checked out some new cameras while we were there, and I picked up a new one. We thought we'd try it out. It's a new HD, so everything should be better, right? So this is the cabled front. It's still hard to see in this. You can kind of see it. Don't fall out and Mr. Sweater. Or I think I will cry. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. But yeah, it it hasn't changed <laughs> since last week. Still just a small amount of yarn left for the first ball. I probably will work on it more this week. Just been busy and distracted with everything else. Fourth thing on the needles is the Good Day Sunshine Shawl by Amanda Bourjourn. And it got a lot of love, really. It got a whole nother repeat done on the lace, which is this like little sun spurts they look like. I'm showing the right side. They look like little sun spurts. I have to do, I think, another 10 rows, and then that pattern part is done, which is awesome. I think that's where I am. I don't know. I'm not sure if I even left it open myself. Let's wait and see. And then I decided to, why not, start another one. I joined the Full of It Cow by Three Bags Fold. Hillary Knits, Hillary Designs. So this is it. We're making um, a felted bag. I decided to do the large tote. It was a free knit along, but now you have to buy the pattern. I think. And it's in the Criminal Knits Knit Along. So yeah, I have a ways to go on it. All that stuff inside it is all of the yarn for it. So we're getting pretty quick and pretty far. It won't take me much longer. I think I have to do that eye cord around the top and then they want me to do a drawstring and a couple cute pockets I think and then we felt it. So it's exciting. It'll be my first felting project. Okay, the big reveal. Oh dear. I left them over there. I'll be right back. Okay. So, I did the mitered sh the mitered leaf shamrock by Vicky Howell. And it's this cute little shamrock. This is actually the second one I knit, and I did it last night while my husband and I were watching a bit of TV. 
I was distracted. <laughs> the first one turned out like this. That doesn't look like a shamrock to me either. Uh, except I didn't sew up the one seam, and I thought it looked kind of funny. And then I realized, much to my dismay, that I did it wrong. <laughs> Seems to be a common occurrence here. So it's going to be like a little green flower, I think. And I'm going to maybe embellish it with a few um, little glass beads. And the same with my shamrock. And then I'll hang them above my computer, just to make them look pretty. Yeah, so that's those. The second thing I finished was the silver silver bells hat by Stephanie Earp. And it doesn't look that bad. I'm not really a hat person, but, you know, it's a hat, and it's done. Now my hair is doing its thing, and it always does, but that's alright. So yeah, Stephanie Earp in Alpaca Acres in a custom dyed purple shade that she did for me. And this is the same one from last week. It's the Hitchhiker, but I just, I can't help it, it's so pretty. I just wanted to wear it again. I think I'm going to wear it to knit night, if it's cold outside again. Still, gets off and on here. Yeah. So this is the Hitchhiker by Martina Bem in Knit Pick Stroll in the Make Believe colorway. I just think it's so pretty. And it was so fast and easy. So yeah, that's my big reveals. Love Bites. I got Dakota Twilight Swap Package from the Book and Yarn Swap 2012, the March Swap Package. Oh darn, I left it over there. I'll be right back. So sorry about that, y'all. I'm getting really good at running away from the camera. What do y'all think? So I got a stress ball um, of a fragrance sachet. It's not bad. It's kind of like roses. It's kind of different. And I got a cute little um, postcard. And it says, hope you like the package. Um, and a few other things. Just really nice. And I got a book, because that's what it was. It was Quest for the Far, Far, Far Duan. I haven't read it yet. I've been waiting. I haven't got there yet. I've just been busy. And I got this crocheted medallion necklace, which I think is so pretty. Except it's a little tight for me to wear. I wish she had um, chained it a little bit bigger on the the, the end here. Because I'm not a crocheter. And, ooh, I am so dark. One minute. Maybe I can fix this up. So we can all see it so much better on the camera. What's the odds of it not falling? There. That does it pretty good justice. Oops. What do y'all think? So pretty? I think so too. It's definitely in my color black. I like it. So she had left a message on Ravelry saying that she would send me yarn when she could, which is fine. I, I'm excited. I can't wait. But yeah, that's my love bites this week. Um, yeah. So, on to Mrs. Dark Angel. This is going to be a really short episode. So, I have a new challenge for my family. Well, it's mostly for my husband. Because, um, he drives me nuts. He seems to like to ignore me, which I don't understand. I spend as much time as I can with him and our little ones. And it just seems he's not interested. So I talked this problem over with my parents, and my dad came up with a solution. He suggested that we cut out the TV for four months, and that would make him have to pay attention to me and everybody else in our family, instead of being glued to the television every night, which I find insanely crazy. And I don't understand how people can be that shocked and, like not notice anybody, which, you know, I, I don't get it. My little people and him are my life. They're the only people I really am 100% interested in all the time. Like, their welfare is the most important thing here in my house, along with me. So yeah, we're, I'm planning to have more family time and do more activities together, 
and we'll see how it works out. My daughter, my oldest one, she's not sure about this. She really likes TV. So, we'll just have to try it and see how it goes. She doesn't have a whole lot of say in this matter. Because I'm mom and she's Kathy. <laughs> so yes, that's it for today, I think. Um, I'll have more stuff to show you next week. I will be recording on Wednesdays from now on, just because I like Mondays. But it's just been too chaotic lately, and I think Wednesday is about the time of the week when I'm ready to record. So until then, oh, the credits will tell you how to get a hold of me and all that good stuff. So until then, I'll see you next week. Bye.